Hello, if you're seeing this, that means I am going to color all three of these coloring sheets with you using different methods and different coloring schemes. So let's get started. I am going to color in this ladybug coloring page using complementary colors and these colors also just happen to be realistic colors. So I got shades of green on my left and I have shades of red on my right. And my first step is I am just grabbing a light green and going over the entire leaf lightly just as a base. And then I will add a couple more colors and details later. Now that I have colored the entire leaf with a light base of green, I'm going to do the same with the ladybug and just color a light shade of red just as a base. And details will come later. So this is where I start focusing a bit more on the details. So I grabbed a black here and I'm going to fill in these spots of the ladybug. And once I finish that step, I am going to grab another darker shade of green and just randomly color in some of the little shapes that are inside of my leaf.
And now I'm going to grab another shade of green and do the exact same thing by coloring in just some random shapes throughout the inside of the leaf to add a little bit more interest in detail. And at this point, I wanted to focus a little bit more on the ladybug once again, so I grabbed another red colored pencil, and I'm just making some of the areas a bit darker and leaving some areas a bit lighter to give it some dimension. And I will also be grabbing a reddish brown color here soon to shade a little bit more and push those dark tones just a bit more. And that's my ladybug. And this is how it looks after using the complementary color scheme of reds and greens. Let's color in this dog coloring sheet. And I wanted to use my favorite color scheme for this coloring sheet, which is split complementary. The three split complementary colors that I chose to color with are yellow, red violet, and blue violet. The first color I'm using is blue violet because it is the darkest, so I will use that color to color in the dog's pupils and her nostrils and also parts of her nose. Now I am switching to red violet and I am using this to blend into the blue violet to color in the rest of the nose. And I will also use this color to shade the top parts of the eyes. Now we are going on to yellow. And of course I am going to color in the rest of the eyes with yellow and it blends in so nicely with the red violet, which I was so excited about. And here is actually when I thought of the idea to later on color in the ears as an ombre yellow 
to red violet to purple violet. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that coming up here in a little bit too. But before we get there, I am going to just lightly color in the entirety of this spaniel's fur with yellow. Also at this point, I learned from experimenting that if you mix a yellow crayon with a blue violet crayon, they make a black color. So I went back into the nostrils to turn that darker and I was just so excited about it that I broke my blue violet crayon in half, but that is a-okay and we're moving on anyway. <laughs> And this is where I start the ombre effect of blending yellow into the red violet and blending the red violet into the blue violet. And coming up here, I did this step that I'm actually really happy that I did. I was not expecting to do this, but I thought I wanted to see what would happen if I shaded in some of the areas with my red violet color. And I am so happy that I did that. I think it made such a cool effect. So if you're coloring with me, maybe try shading with a color that maybe you didn't think about shading with in the first place. It might look really cool. And this is the final product of coloring in this dog with my split complementary color palette. For this cat coloring page, I am using an analogous color scheme, which means I'm using three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So as you can see, I am using yellow, orange, and red to color in my cat, and I am using Crayola markers. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to color in all the fur yellow, and then later on, I plan on going in with some of the orange and the red to add some details here and there, and also use those colors for the eyes and the nose.
So here I'm just finishing up the yellow and then I will be moving on to orange to color in the eyes and the nose and the ears and then I will use red for some other little details. And now I am done with orange for now, and I'm moving on to red. And first and foremost, I'm just using the red to color in the pupils, because obviously that is the last part that I haven't colored in yet. And I'm also using it to shade the top half of the eyes and the bottom half of the nose. And finally, I am using my red and my orange to add some details to this cat to make him look like an orange tabby. And honestly, this drawing is based off of my orange tabby, Abraham. So I was trying to kind of make it look like him, but only using the colors that I had and trying to use them in a little bit of a more creative way. And this is how my orange tabby drawing looks like after I colored it in using an analogous color scheme. Thank you so much for learning with me and creating with me. See you next time.